I, I'm, I'm calling it curriculum. Like we need a future ready curriculum in addition to the skills. And the reason we need that is because there's another threat. So let me get into that. The Ontario uh, lobby group called Urban Neighborhoods produced a report that guessed uh, about 3 to 5% cost savings from merging the Catholic school boards and the public school boards um, into one solid, like one unified system. So how can we argue against the potential economic benefit of a single larger school district? Well, if you look inside this report, and I'll, I'll include a link um, in, the, in the chats, the majority of the 3 to 5% savings comes from a category called economy of scale savings. The concept is that if you have one giant district um, that pupils, schools, and teacher grants could all be lowered by 3 to 5%, that's where your savings comes from. So that means you would need 3 to 5% less schools, you need 3 to 5% less teachers, and somehow you'd have 3 to 5% less students. This makes no sense. There is no evidence of cost savings from a larger number of employees. In fact, many large corporations today, they treat each division as a separate company. Why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just merge all the decision-making under one boss or one decision-making uh, board? Uh, since that's way more efficient. It's because the supposed cost savings are lost when you make broad decisions that negatively impact one group while benefiting another. That's the problem with decisions. So efficiency exists in these small and medium enterprises. It is much harder in a large enterprise to achieve a, a really high level of efficiency. And as your Catholic trustee, I would position Catholic education as a resource to experiment and find the best way to teach future ready skills. Our world is changing and our children need skills that won't be automated, outsourced, or digitized. Both The Lean Startup by Eric Ries and Zero to One by Peter Thiel, the uh, Palantir, uh, one of the founders of eBay, speak to the importance of lowering the cost of the value hypothesis experiments. So before, like, so example, um, let's just pretend like in a startup, before you have your first business, um, before you have a business, like bef before you have your first sale, you, you don't even have a business. What you have is a value hypothesis. Uh, and that value hypothesis needs to be tested, right? Like how would we know that this is actually beneficial? Um, and in the same way, we need to do this kind of lean, agile type of uh, testing inside education as well. And so what I've learned, and, and this is from experience uh, working in industry, is that larger, the larger the organization, the more expensive every single value hypothesis experiment becomes because more process, of course, is required, but also like it's going to impact a lot more people. So you have to like, oh, that you need a lot more checks and balances in place as organizations become larger. So I want to expand on, on what I mean by this because this is something that I'm, I'm really passionate about because in my field, it's all about doing, in, in, especially in education and technology, it's about doing these small experiments. And we know that education is changing. We, we, I've talked about this before, that we need future-ready skills. We need, we need to teach future-ready skills. How do we do that? What is the right approach? Like, it doesn't seem like there's a, a foolproof, tested and known formula for teaching creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, communication skills, citizenship, and character. Those are things that educators are experimenting with right now. There are so many different approaches, and we don't know what is the best approach for Calgary. What is the best experiment that is going to work for all students in Alberta. And what we need are a lot of smaller experiments. So having the separate boards means that those experiments get done. 
and that those best practices can be shared and they can also be acted on, which is very important. And so this is an area that I, I love a lot. Um, I, I'm very passionate about because when it comes to those, those lean experiments, it's got to be small. It's got to be like, it's got to be something you can just try, you know, and you don't have to go and involve everyone. Like that's not the right way to do it. Like the, the way to do it is obviously to find these smaller uh, best practices. I remember working with the, um, the Toronto district school board and you could find like people talk about discovery education. Well, I, I found some schools that did that and I was like, wow, this is an incredible process but you really need a teacher, a very capable teacher who is, is very comfortable with chaos because it, it goes, uh, it is not easy to do, right? Like they ask questions. There's a lot of like people are trying to discover their questions along as they go. And it was this kind of realization that, oh, sometimes like the content, like you need better content. Oh, okay. We, we need to improve this. So the, all of these questions leads into uh, answers that other school districts can take. They can build uh, they can build on the sh shoulders of giants here in order to help each other. And that's where this, like the sharpening of the sword really helps. It is in that communication between the two, the two districts that we get the best education for every student in Calgary.